Hey, it's me, Gypsy, and it's time for Tarot Tuesday. Today's reading is going to be from May 14th until May 21st. As you know, I do Tuesday to Tuesday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do general readings. They are not sign specific and they are not gender specific. They are very general. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back and joining me again. I thought today what I would do is pull out some decks that I haven't used in a while. You know, kind of dust off the cobwebs and sometimes you just need a change. You know, sometimes you need to change things up. Um, you know, we're going into some some really heavy earth energies this week. And uh, so I'm relying on some um, older, more grounded decks, if you, if you want to call it that. The first one I'm going to be using is the Medicine Woman Tarot deck. And after that, I will be using the Pagan Path Tarot deck. And then, just for chucks, I got out good old faithful Rider Waite tarot deck. And uh, Baxter's here enjoying the bright sunlight and uh, the birds singing. I, um, I am actually recording this the day before so that I can get it uploaded because on Tuesday... I actually will be babysitting my grandson and he is three years old and I don't know if you've ever tried doing anything with the three-year-old around but if you have you'll understand why I am recording this the day before <laughs> but again this reading is for Tuesday May 14th through Tuesday yeah, May 14th through Tuesday, May 21st. And we're starting with the Medicine Woman deck. And the card on the bottom is the Totem of Stones, Snake, the Crawler, in reverse. And that says to me that you're not taking your time. So let's see what the cards say for this week. What kind of things are we going to be dealing with, with all of this earth energy that is surrounding us? Um, there's going to be a lot of emotional flow, a lot of uh, feeling the need to be grounded, feeling the need to be planted, feeling the need to be steadfast. And I'm going to put there. Let's see what we've got going on. Oh, wow. Okay. This, this is really good. So automatically we get the three of bowls and the apprentice of pipes. The three of bowls and the apprentice of pipes. And this says to me that your overall energy for the week, um, is going to be one of giving. You are going to be feeling like you need to offer. Um, you need to celebrate and share with others. Um, you notice the three of bowls, they're giving an offering to the Great Spirit. And then in the Apprentice of Pipes, the Apprentice is dancing in celebration, in love and honor. Um, this is wonderful, um, you know, taking on the crane energy, the beauty. Uh, I think this week, you know, you're, you're going to be about, um, well, beautifying your community, your area, your space. You're going to want to be giving. 
Um, and because we're in a lot of earth energy right now, maybe this is the time that you're going to be working in your garden. Maybe it's going to be nice weather where you are, and so you'll be able to plant some flowers, or maybe you'll be able to tend some herbs. Um, or for those of you who have already planted your garden a lot earlier, maybe it's time for you to harvest some of those things and to share them. Um, maybe you'll be taking a donation to the local food bank or something like that. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, what is influencing you right now this week? What is right in line with you? We have another air card. We have the nine of pipes. And then we have the emperor. And the emperor is commanding you. And what he is commanding you to do, I feel, it's time to share. It's time to plant those seeds and dig in that dirt and get your, your hands dirty and your feet wet. It's time to reconnect with the earth and with the air and with the sun. Um, you're definitely being told that it is, it is time for you to take stock of what you have and be willing to give it to others, be willing to share it with others. In your immediate past, you had the exemplar of the pipes reversed. So in your immediate past, maybe you were being a little stubborn or maybe you weren't able to share like you would like to. And now, now is your opportunity. Now is your time to rejoice in all the gifts you've been given and, and to share them with others. Now is the time of picnics and parties and celebrations. Let's see what's coming up in your immediate future for this week. Oh, well, that's interesting. We got the sun card reversed, which ordinarily it would be rebirth. But because it's reversed, I want to say it's not a rebirth, but it's a reclaiming. I want to say you are tapping into a trait that you had once before. And for whatever reason, that trait got away from you. Now it's coming back. It's coming back in the fold. You're wanting to express yourself. Um, the pipes in this deck, it's also a... Um, related to people who sing or people who are poets and, and, and who give oration. So um, maybe you're someone who, well, you, you will speak with your community. You will um, stand up for your community and you will promote your community via, uh, via song or via, via just giving speeches or poetry or something like that. Um, the pipes, like I said, they're, they're usually for air signs. Um, the, their element is air, obviously. Um, and, and winds of change, you know, can come flowing through. Let's see what else we have. Ah. Wow. Okay. We've got a lot of good cards. Ah, okay. So, things that are influencing you are temperance and the six of stones. And temperance means moderation. Temperance means it's kind of a balance card. Temperance is knowing when to stop, knowing when not to overeat, not to overdrink, not to overspend. Your six of stones, um, it's so interesting because the image on the card is a woman collecting stones or tossing stones into the river, um, if you see. And in a lot of faiths, when you toss a stone into the river, it's much like when you throw a coin into a well. It's a wish. Hi, Derby. <laughs> it's a wish. So I see both temperance, um, both moderation and wishes that are influencing your decisions this week. Now, something that's a little interesting to me 
is you have the nurturing lodge of the bowls in reverse. So what this says to me is that you're not feeding people. You're not preparing the meals. Um, that, that's not what your job is. But I'm going to tell you what your job is. Look, you got the bounty card. This is the Empress. And so you have already gotten the Emperor and the Empress. And so you have command telling you that you are to share and you have the Empress bounty. So you have that that you can share. This is really wonderful. Um, I am seeing this week as being a giving week for you. Let me see what the, the uh, Pagan Path Tarot has to say. I'm just curious, you know. It's always good to check with a couple of different decks. You may get a different message. You may get the same message. You know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, if you get the same message, then you know that the universe or great spirit or God or goddess, whomever you choose, um, energy, whatever, is, is sending you a, a big message. So, let us see. How about this three of bowls? And we got the initiate of wands reversed. And that says to me that you know what you're supposed to do. You know this. I'm not telling you anything new. And how about this apprentice of pipes? Ooh, we got the devil card. So that says to me there's temptation. There's temptation to not listen to what you're being told. Hmm, interesting. And our nine of pipes clarification, we got the seven of wands. And it's interesting because you know, you know, I see this, this, being thankful, being grateful, being appreciative, and then I see help, a helper, someone who is going to be giving, uh, giving back. Um, you know, it's, it's like paying it forward. You were helped once before, and you were so thankful, and now you are going to return the favor. You are going to be the one helping. Let's clarify this Emperor card. And we got the elemental of swords reversed. So even though you're tempted to not listen to your conscience, because it's your conscience telling you you need to give back, you're going to do it. You're going to listen. Um, you're going to listen to the command. You're not going to fight it. You're not going to fight against yourself. And our exemplar of pipes reversed. And we have the four of wands which is interesting because that is a partnership. It's usually the wedding card, the celebration card. And you got the exemplar of pipes reversed. And so it was saying that you weren't in the position to uh, put forth the effort. You weren't in the position to give back. Um, maybe it's because you were young. You were new, you were newly wed perhaps. You didn't have the resources, and that's why you received help before, and that's why you're wanting to give help now. Let's clarify this Sun Rebirth card. Oh, wow. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. And remember how I said that this, this, um, uh, would you get down, please? Thank you. This sun card reversed was basically a reclaiming of something that you already had, a reclaiming of a trait. And looky there, you are planting those seeds back again. You are literally digging in the dirt. I really, really see this as you providing for a community. You're not cooking the food, but you're providing the food for someone else to cook. Um, we're gonna look at this temperance card and we got the strength. And so you have the strength 
to do things in moderation. You have the strength to um, stay away from temptation. You can do this. You've got this. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Our Six of Stones is now clarified by our Six of Swords. For those of you who are looking at numbers, so far we have two sixes. So far we have two sevens. Um, yeah, so right now we've got sixes and sevens for those of you who are into numerology. So our six of stones is clarified by our six of swords. And this says to me that you were wishing for a new beginning, but you know how they say, be careful what you wish for, because it, you may get what you wish for, but not in exactly the way you thought. And this says to me, you were wishing for new beginnings. Well, this guy's house burned down. Now, he's getting a new beginning, but it may not have been the way that he wanted it. So, you know, you're getting your new beginnings. You're getting your regrouping of yourself, your spirit, your soul. Um, but it's not coming to you in the way that you expect. So, and now we're going to look at the root. Nurturing of the Lodge, or Nurturing Lodge of the Bowls reversed. And you get the Ace of Pentacles. And again, I said this, you were not cooking the food. This is you're providing it. You're providing money. You're providing resources for this food. Why do I feel like this is a fundraiser? I feel like this is a community fundraiser that you are a part of. Um, it, I, I'm, I'm getting a whisper in my ear that maybe there was someone in your community or in your church that suffered a great loss. And so the community is getting together to help this person. And you decided that you needed to be a part of this because at one point in time, you needed help. And now you have the ability to give back. You have the ability to help and that's what you're doing. Let's, let's look at this Empress card. Let's clarify this Empress card and we get justice. So, it's the right thing to do. It's just the right thing to do. And you know it's the right thing to do. That's why you want to do it. It's not about accolades. It's not about recognition. You don't want any of that. You don't even want your name on the program. You just want to help. Because it's the right thing to do. This week, you are going to be... Just giving, 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 giving. Definitely. Giving, 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 giving. I, I love it. I love it. I love that this week, this is your selfless week. I, I see this as being very selfless. Very, you know, oh, I can do this. I can do this to help someone else. So you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to get out the rider weight. And, you know, I'm just going to, I'm not going to clarify any more cards because I think they're pretty clear. I, what I am going to do, I'm going to ask Great Spirit, I'm going to pull three cards. I want three cards of wisdom, three messages, specific messages for those who are watching today, for this person or persons who are willing to sacrifice of themselves and to give back and to not ask for anything in return, but just to selflessly devote their time this week or their money or their resources to, to this community. I'm, that's what I'm asking for. Just, I'm going to pull three cards and whatever those three cards are, those will be messages just the messages that we need just the messages that whomever needs to hear it will hear it 
Well, almost fell out. Come on. Give me three cards. Just give me three cards. Give me three cards. Oh, oh, oh. That's interesting. Give me three cards. Come on. One more. One more card. One more card. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. All righty. Well, this is very interesting. We got the blank card, which some readers do not use the blank card. I like to use the blank card, and I'll tell you why. Because to me, the blank card is telling you, you already know the answer. There's nothing that needs to be said. You also got the Ace of Pentacles reversed. The Ace of Pentacles reversed has to do with, well, being selfish with your money or losing money. In this case, I am feeling it as the temptation to be selfish. Um, that is, I, I'm seeing this as a warning. And then your last card you got was the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now, what does a queen do? She takes care of her family. She takes care of her community. Pentacles are coins. They deal with money. I am seeing that your messages for this week are the warnings. Your warning is you already know. You already know what to do. You already know what to do with your money. You've already been approached. It's already been mentioned in church. It's already been mentioned in the classroom. You already know. And you're telling yourself, oh, but, but, I mean, that's, you know, that's money. And that's money I could use for A, B, C, D, E, F. But remember, remember, someone helped you once. Now it's your turn to help someone else. Remember, remember, you have been commanded to give of your bounty. Share the wealth, share the love, ask for no accolades, ask for nothing in return. That is your reading for this week. For Tuesday, May 14th, let me check, yeah, Tuesday, May 14th to Tuesday, May 21st, and the year is 2019, and the main message is give, give, that's what you need to do, all this week, give. I hope this resonated with some of you. If it did not, please, by all means, check out some of the other fabulous tarot readers that are on YouTube. There are literally thousands of them, and I will not be offended in any way, shape, or form. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, please email me at smallwoodhomestead at gmail.com. And uh, if you mentioned that you watched one of my giving videos, then I will give you a five dollar discount and um yeah keep giving keep giving this week this is the week embrace that earth energy embrace that grounding embrace the sowing of seeds and the planting of plants embrace the water that washes over you and embrace the wind that blows everything around and you know, cleans out the cobwebs. I wish for you peace this week. Namaste, friends. Have a wonderful day.